Now the blank page can be a little intimidating, so I like to start out with just drawing in a little, a little square. And of course this defines the, the um, edges of my canvas. I'm doing this sketch for a painting. And um, it's a little 8 by 10, and so this is roughly the, the, the right proportion for an 8 by 10. Typically I don't measure, I've just done this enough that I, I, I know approximately what the proportions are. So the first thing I want to do is delineate my shapes. So I'm just putting in where the bushes and shrubs are and the, you know, there's a little river in the front there and I'm trying to just de de uh, delineate that as best as I can. So I start to put in some value, and um, I first put in kind of a grayish tone. Now I'm just trying to strike a few very dark notes. And this is important because I'll start relating the values to um, each other. So I need to have a, a, a nice dark note there to relate the other grays. So I'm just kind of putting in uh, some darker spots here again. And the darkest spot in the whole composition is actually the um, reflection in the water. So typically your upright planes will be the darkest, as I've explained in other videos. And true to that law, or that rule of thumb, I should say, um, the trees are, are quite dark. Now this is an old poplar that's um, just by the river there, but the reflection will actually be darker than the, the poplar itself. So I'm drawing from memory, although I am looking at some photographs that has um, some trees in it and uh, basically the, the lighting scheme that I'm trying to get into this painting. Now I use the edge of my um, pencil quite a bit to get a nice nice flat tone and also I'm pushing quite hard there to to make it dark a lot of times I think of sketching like this as sort of laying down tones I'm sort of just glazing grays over the top of areas now I'm starting to get a nice value zone here going with the grays so the main idea I'm trying to express in this sketch is just my basic three values that I want to uh, hang my composition on. I've got some really really darks, I've got some very very lights, that's the sky and the ground plane, and then I've got uh, some grays. Um, now I will start to really you know punch these grays up quite a bit here and just by lightly sketching over the top of various uh, areas. So, you know, this, this basic structure um, of, you know, gray, you know, grays that are dark, light, and medium values is the basic structure of your painting. So, um, I'm going to start selling my sketches on my Etsy woodcut site. So, I want to start um, signing them and, and, uh, adding the title, and in this case I added the date as well. Here's a sketch called Poppies, and it is the preliminary sketch of a painting that was recently sold from the Southam Gallery, and uh, as you can see here it, it has uh, I've embossed the uh, image, so it, it, it kind of looks like a, a print, but it's hand embossed. Um, and I'm going to sell this one on Etsy for $45. Here's another sketch. Um, this is called Grand Canal, and it's from a painting that I sold many years ago, but um, it's a preliminary to an oil painting I did. And it is embossed as well. I think I'll probably end up embossing all of the sketches that I sell. I think it just makes a nice 
a nice look when it's in the in the frame. Now most of them will have a deckled edge. Um, I, this is a torn edge up here, but um, these are all done on acid-free paper, so they won't yellow, and I think they'll look um, you know great framed and, and on on a wall somewhere.